क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच असेसमेंट इज प्रियोरिटाइज फॉर अ पेशेंट विथ सस्पेक्टेड हाई फोवेलेमिक शॉक द राइट आंसर इज बी कैफेलरी रिफेल कैफेलरी रिफेल चेक्स फेरेफरल सर्कुलेशन विच इज फर्स्ट अफेक्टेड इन शॉक क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच स्टेज ऑफ स्लीप इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर हीलिंग एंड टिश्यू रीजनरेशन द राइट आंसर इज डी स्टेज थ्री स्टेज थ्री डीप स्लीप इज क्रूशल फॉर फिजिकल रिफेयर एंड ग्रोथ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच इज द बेस्ट इंडिकेटर ऑफ अफेशंस फ्लूड बैलेंस The right answer is B. Daily weight. Daily weight is the most accurate indicator of fluid status. Question number four: Which arterial blood gas result indicates respiratory acidosis? The right answer is B. pH less than seven point three five. PSU2 greater than 45. Respiratory acidosis occurs with a low pH and elevated PSU2. Question number five. What is the best way to assess a patient's nutritional status? The right answer is B. Serum albumin level. Serum albumin reflects protein status and overall nutritional health. Question number six: Which technique is best for assessing a patient's breath sounds in an unconscious patient? The right answer is D: Auscultation with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. The diaphragm of the stethoscope detects high-pitched lung sounds. Question number seven: What is the priority nursing intervention for a patient with a suspected stroke? The right answer is D. Initiate a rapid neurological assessment. A rapid neurological assessment helps determine treatment options for stroke. Question number eight: What is the most common cause of a hospital acquired fresher ulcer? The right answer is C. Amiability. Amiability reduces circulation and increases pressure on vulnerable areas. Question number nine: Which blood pressure measurement indicates stage two hypertension? The right answer is D, hundred and eighty or hundred and twenty millimeter mercury. Question number ten: Which of the following is the most critical assessment in a diabetic patient with new onset dizziness? The right answer is A blood sugar level hypoglycemia is common in diabetic patients and can cause dizziness Question number 11 what is the first step in the nursing process for a newly admitted patient The right answer is C assessment Assessment is the first step to gather data for diagnosis and planning. Question number twelve: What is the primary concern when caring for a patient with severe burns? The right answer is C: Hypovolemic shock. Burns cause fluid loss, leading to hypovolemic shock is a priority concern. Question number thirteen: Which assessment tool is used to assess a patient's level of consciousness? 
द राइट आंसर इज ए ग्लास्को कामा स्केल द ग्लास्को कामा स्केल इवाल्वेट्स अ पेशेंट्स न्यूरोलॉजिकल स्टेटस एंड रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच इंटरवेंशन इज मोस्ट इफेक्टिव फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग डीप वेन थ्रम्बोसिस एंड फोर्स ऑपरेटिव पेशेंट्स राइट आंसर इज सी एनकरेज अर्ली एम्बुलेशन अर्ली एम्बुलेशन प्रमोट्स सर्कुलेशन एंड प्रिवेंट्स ब्लड क्लट फॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन What is the most important action in preventing catheter associated urinary tract infections? The right answer is C ensuring sterile technique during insertion. Sterile technique during catheter insertion reduces the risk of infection. Question number 16. What is the ideal temperature range for a neonatal incubator? The right answer is B, 28 up to 32 degrees Celsius. New nets require a warm environment of 28 up to 32 degrees Celsius for thermoregulation. Question number 17. Which of the following is a sign of opioid overdose? The right answer is C, decreased respiration. Opioid overdose leads to respiratory distress. Question number 18. What is the most common cause of secondary hypertension? The right answer is C, kidney disease. Kidney disease is a leading cause of secondary hypertension. Question number 19. Which part of the body is assist for a deep vein thrombosis? The right answer is B, lower leg. DVT most commonly affects the lower extremities. Question number 20. What is the most common complication following a nephrotomy? The right answer is B. infection surgical site infection are common after abdominal surgery question number 21 how often should a blood glucose monitor be calibrated the right answer is b after every 5 uses regular calibration ensures accurate blood glucose readings Question number 22 Which of the following is an early sign of increase in intracranial pressure The right answer is D headache Headache is an early and common sign of ICP elevation Question number 23 What is the best indicator of a patient's pain level The right answer is C patient self report pain is subjective and self report is the most reliable indicator Question number 24 what is the most important nursing action when preparing a patient for a blood transfusion The right answer is B verify patient identity and blood type Verification of blood type and patient identity is critical to avoid transfusion reaction. Question number 25. What is a common symptom of hypothyroidism? The right answer is C, cold intolerance. Cold intolerance is a common symptom of hypothyroidism. Question number 26 Which condition is a risk factor for developing pressure ulcers The right answer is B diabetes 
diabetes affects circulation and wound healing, increasing fresher ulcer risk. Question number 27. What is the proper technique for removing a nasogastric tube? The right answer is C. Flush with saline before removal. Flushing the tube helps prevent trauma during removal. Question number 28. Which of the following is a late sign of hypoxia? The right answer is A. Cyanosis. Cyanosis indicates severe late stage hypoxia. Question number 29. What is the most effective way to prevent hospital acquired pneumonia? The right answer is B. Maintaining hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is critical to infection control. Question number 30. How often should a sterile dressing be changed after surgery? The right answer is D. Is needed based on the wound assessment. Dressing change frequency depends on the wound condition. Question number 31. Which of the following is the primary concern for a patient with a chest tube? The right answer is B. Respiratory distress. Respiratory dis distress is a priority in patients with chest tube. Question number 32. What is the purpose of using a sequential compression device in force operative patients? The right answer is B. To prevent blood clots. SCDs are used to prevent deep vein thrombosis by improving circulation. Question number 33. Which type of catheter is used for long-term urinary drainage? The right answer is B. Endwelling catheter. Endwelling catheters are used for continuous urinary drainage. Question number 34. What is the most common cause of community acquired pneumonia? The right answer is C. Streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia is the most common pathogen. Question number 35. Which of the following should be avoided in a patient with a high risk of aspiration? The right answer is D. Safine physician. The Safine physician increases aspiration risk. Question number 36. Which nursing action best prevents food drop in a bedridden patient? The right answer is B. F. Live footboard. Footboards maintain foot alignment and prevent. Flounder flexation. Question number 37. Which symptom indicates fluid overload in a patient on IV therapy? The right answer is C. Crackles in lungs. Crackles show fluid in the lungs due to overload. Question number 38. What should the nurse check first when a patient complains of IV site pain? The right answer is C. Site for infiltration. Check site for swelling, redness or leakage first. Question number 39. Which position helps prevent aspiration during feeding in a semi-conscious patient? The right answer is C. High Fowlers. High Fowlers keep the airway clear. Question number 40. Which lab will you must, must be monitored during half therapy? 
The right answer is D, APTT. APTT monitors the effect of heparin. Question number 41. What is the priority nursing action for a patient with a seizure? The right answer is C. Clear the area for safety. Question number 42. Which sign indicates early hypoglycemia? The right answer is B. Sweating. Question number 43. What is the best method to reduce hospital acquired infections? The right answer is B. Frequent hand hygiene. Hand washing is the best defense. Question number 44. Which is the best site to give subcutaneous insulin injection? The right answer is C. Abdomen. Abdomen has good absorption for insulin. Question number 45. What does informed consent mean? The right answer is C. Red information with risk explained. Consent includes full understanding of risk and benefits. Question number 46. Which factor increases risk for constipation? The right answer is C. Amobility. Amobility slows bowel movements. Question number 47. What is the key sign of dehydration in elderly? The right answer is C. Sunken eyes. Sunken eyes and dry tongue suggest dehydration. Question number 48. What is the purpose of incentive spirometry? The right answer is C. Expand lungs. It helps prevent lung collapse. Question number 49. Which isolation is needed for a patient with chicken fox? The right answer is D. Earborn and contact. Chicken fox spreads by earborn and contact. Question number last 50. Which term means difficulty swallowing? The right answer is A. Dyspagia. Dyspagia equal to difficulty and swallowing. Thanks for watching.